Good evening. I'm indeed honored to introduce to you our guest speaker who uh, has a plane to catch back to the United States. So I have a, a serious introduction. I can either read it at the normal cadence or pick up the cadence and do the whole introduction. So I've decided to pick up the cadence because uh, there are too many important uh, items here to, uh, to leave out. The sheer magnitude of what Stuart Eisenstadt has accomplished in so many realms is daunting. Tapping even just the surface of his achievements, you will find a brilliant, tenacious, and principled man. A partner at Covington and Burling Law Firm in Washington, Stu heads the firm's international efforts. As an attorney, he's been listed as a leading lawyer, a best lawyer, and a super lawyer in a variety of respected journals. A genuine ambassador in every sense of the word, Stu actually has served as one. He was U.S. Ambassador to the European Union, just one stop in a public service career that also included turns as domestic policy advisor to President Jimmy Carter, as well as Deputy Secretary of the Treasury and Under Secretary of State in the Clinton administration. From global trade to global warming, Stu has left an imprint and a legacy on some of the most important issues of our time. But in a career with one triumphant peak higher than the next, his work in Holocaust restitution truly stands out. Stu has been a tireless champion of Holocaust victims for decades. He has deservedly earned the respect and admiration of government leaders around the world, as well as the deepest appreciation of Holocaust victims and their heirs. Stemming from his role as special representative of the President and the Secretary of State on Holocaust-era issues under President Clinton, Stu can be credited with increased efforts to finally provide some measure of justice to Holocaust victims. Working with European nations, including Germany, Austria, and France, Stu negotiated agreements dealing with property restitution, recovering stolen works of art, and paying out insurance policy promises that had been denied. He explained this work in a highly regarded book, Imperfect Justice, Looted Assets, Slave Labor, and the Unfinished Business of World War II. Stu's initiative and perseverance made possible a landmark conference in Prague in 2009 on Holocaust-era assets restitution attended by 46 countries. Subsequently, all participating countries signed the Terezin Declaration at the site of the Terezin concentration camp, pledging to support and enact legislation and programs to bring about restitution to survivors and their families. Stu's domestic and international accolades include honorary doctorates, civilian awards from France, Germany, Austria, and Belgium, as well as civilian acknowledgments at home from two U.S. Secretaries of State and one U.S. Secretary of the Treasury. He's a recognized authority on so many different fronts and has written for such international publications as the New York Times, the Financial Times, and Foreign Policy Magazine. He's lectured at Harvard and has been a public policy scholar at the Woodrow Wilson International Center. And you can read his most recent book, which is the title of his address tonight, The Future of the Jews, How Global Forces Are Impacting the Jewish People, Israel, and Its Relationship with the United States. Now, whether representing our government on so many different and vital issues or multinational victims of human rights abuses or justice uh, to survivors of the Holocaust, Stu has brought his formidable intellect and energy and compassion to every single arena. Stu's collaboration with Jewish organizations such as ours, his accessibility to the community have been his hallmark demonstrating that one can serve in high-level government positions and still remain rooted in the community. And so, here's a man that I'm proud to call a friend and a colleague, Ambassador Stuart Eisenstein.